talk to her cave woman, okay? You need to become adept at subcommunication, okay? You need to be, become adept at talking to her hind brain, that is to say, talking to her reptilian animalistic brain, rather than talking to her sort of societally approved exterior, if you like. And so what I want to talk about in this video are ways in which you can employ both eye contact and also proximity, and to some extent touch, corona allowing, in order to create subtext, okay? Because it's subtext that's really going to make the difference in terms of your interactions, right? And here's why. People think that if you just learn a few different tools and techniques, if you learn a few jokes or lines or linguistic ticks, then that is what's going to get you traction in a dating situation. That's what's going to, to really push the envelope for you as far as attraction is concerned. And yes, it's, it's important to be able to talk, right? It's important to be able to tell a story. It's important to be able to paint a picture with words, to create a narrative, to use colourful, figurative, emotive language and all of those things. Yes, that's very important and those things are an amazing skill. However, what is really going to get you to where you want to be is the subtext because at the end of the day, what you're aiming to do is to not talk her around per se, but talk around a particular part of her, which is the, the cave woman, it's the, it's the hind brain, right? And, and you don't communicate to the cave woman, to her hind brain logically, you communicate to that part of her through making her feel something, okay? And I don't, I don't mean that in a naughty way. I just mean you, you get to that part of her by making her feel an emotion. And the way that you make her feel an emotion is by tugging on the, the more animalistic type string. So what are some tools that we can employ in order to create the effects I'm talking about? Well, eye contact is perhaps the most important of all, right? Eye contact is the single most important thing you can do in a dating scenario. And this is whether it's daytime, whether it's in a coffee shop, whether it's in a bookstore, whether it's at night in the in the in the lounge bar or whatever, eye contact is key because eye contact can say so much, and it says so much that you're not going to verbalise because you might be in a situation where it's just not appropriate to be overtly flirtatious. Like for example, imagine that she is a barista and she's working a shift. Her boss is in the corner behind the tail and you want to flirt with her but you know that that's going to be embarrassing both for her and probably for you a bit as well so you're going to tone it down a little bit because you're going to be socially aware you're going to be aware that she could potentially get into trouble because you're being flirtatious with her at work so you're going to tone it down a little bit so you're not going to say overtly flirtatious things you could have a very banal conversation with her but through the eye contact that you are giving, it's very, very clear to her what the subtext is, okay? And this really, really works. And actually, in a way, it can make the whole thing just a little bit more exciting because it's one thing for a guy to walk in and say, hey, you're cute, you know, let's let's meet for drinks. And it's all very sort of out in the open and overt and obvious and there's not really any sort of excitement or hidden depths to it. Whereas if you come in and you're talking about, you know, oh, so this is a cool place, when do you you know, how often do you get that delivered a week? I really like this type of coffee. I want to come in and blah, blah, blah. And you're talking this boring nonsense. But underneath it, she knows that there's more going on. That means there's this little shared secret between the two of you. There's a little bubble around the two of you. And that is incredibly seductive in its own right, incredibly exciting, really for both of you. But, you know, particularly for, for her, this is really brightening up her, her day and bringing a bit of joy and excitement into her day, which is a, a positive, wonderful thing. So you need to harness the power of eye contact for a start. Um, there are some other things as well, like proximity, um, you know, the way that you the way that you stand in relation to her and everything else that can sort of help to to reinforce that sense of, of there being something more to this than just a banal conversation. And the other thing that is really, really helpful is the use of double entendre or double meaning within what you're saying. 
in order to implant a kind of flirtatious subtext to the conversation. And you can do this in all sorts of different arenas of life. You know, you even in the most sort of constrained environment, you can drop a little double entendre in there, you can drop a little double meaning in there, uh, just, to, just to bring home the fact that, you know, yes, on the surface, we might be just having a very normal conversation, but underneath it, this is a very flirtatious, charged conversation. And again, if you can do it in such a way as to make it your little secret, just a little something between the two of you, then that is incredibly powerful as well. And that's going to really, really, you know, get you to where you want to be. Now, this is all stuff that I will go into, or I do go into in more detail in my Charisma and Dating course, which comes out, there's a five-day enrollment period from the 30th of April till the 4th of May. It's The cart is open for, five, for, for those five days only. So you're gonna to have to be quick to get in to the enrollment phase. Um, I'm gonna be sending out more information on that in my email list. So if you're not signed up to my daily email list, I send out a free article every day via email, Monday to Friday. The link for that is below. So I would encourage you to, to get onto that email list because you'll find out more about the Charisma and Dating course, which as I say, is coming up on the 30th of April. So do jump on board with that. I hope you found this interesting. I'm really keen to hear what you've got to say about subtext and about the use of eye contact because I think those two things combined, plus a little bit of proximity, plus a little bit of touch if that's appropriate sometimes, um, all together, what happens is that what you're actually saying, although yes, you do need to have that, that verbal dexterity, those verbal skills, but in the end, what you're saying becomes secondary to the subtext. And, and really that's where you want to be because it's the subtext, it's speaking to her caveman, that really changes things, that really charges up the atmosphere and an interaction and makes things, things happen. You know, when things are happening under the surface and it's kind of a little bit of a secret just between the two of you, that's a really great place to be. So do let me know what you think below. Do hit subscribe for this channel. It really, really helps me to just spread the word and get more people on board. And yeah, look out for the next video, which will be coming very soon. Bye-bye.